some back. We got some steak. We got some steak. Y'all, today, we making the kids a roast. This is for the kids. This is for the babies, y'all. And we got me and Hancho some steak. So, we're going to start with the roast. So, I'm going to make steak roast. Mashed potatoes, and I'ma make broccoli, I think. Broccoli or green beans, one or the other. So for the steak, I have some garlic powder, I got some seasoning salt, I got some dash, and some pepper, and onion. We can't forget the onion with the roast. This is the roast, y'all. I'm getting confused. Okay, the roast, we gonna start seasoning it. We gonna put some seasoning salt on there. Some onion powder. Much, some dash. It got such a good flavor, y'all. I use the table blend. I really like it. I bought another one. I got a new bottle because I was running out. And some pepper. Black ground pepper. And we're going to flip it and repeat. Season salt. Dash, the last little drop. And black pepper. That's it? Yep, that's it. That's all I'm putting on there. Then we gotta do the onion. Chop this up some. You know that onion give it good flavor. You gotta have that onion. Ooh, it be so good. Dangerous how I'm cutting it, y'all. I'm using the um, chopping board though for my, it's under these pans. So it's okay, y'all. I got it. I got it, y'all. I need some better knives. We'll get to that. We're going to go shopping, y'all. We're going to have to go get some stuff. Split these onions apart. Then we're gonna put a little bit of water in this pan with our roast, our beef roast. That pan, y'all yeah, like these cheap pans. They always be like flexible bending and stuff. They get on my nerves. Y'all see the onions in there? I'm gonna put a little bit of water in there. And I'm gonna cut this oven off too. To 375, maybe 400. I'm gonna do 400. And let me get a cup. And we're just going to put some water in the bottom of that pan. Because we want our roast to be nice and moist and tender. Y'all see this little cheap pan? Okay, then we're going to cover that with aluminum foil. We're going to put some aluminum foil on here. I got, see, this some cheap aluminum foil, too. I got some Reynolds over there. I should open up that Reynolds. Put some of that on there. Okay. I'm going to put two layers, two layers of foil. Look, it's wet already. I'm going to put two layers of this on there because this stuff is thin, flimsy, and cheap. Now, they grown for this. Put that on there, and I'm gonna show you guys where y'all can see me. And then I'm gonna put this in the oven. I should have let the oven pre preheat first, but I didn't, y'all. So we just gonna put this in there. It'll be okay though, y'all. It'll be okay. And then we're going to do the steaks. Do I got y'all right? Yeah, I got y'all right. Okay, so we're going to rinse the steaks off. We're going to stay right there. So, we got some ribeye steaks, y'all. We got two of them. This is a lot of meat. This is a lot of meat. 
We got two of these ribeyes. This gotta be. Okay, it's about a pound and a half. I was gonna say, this gotta be about two pounds. It's a pound and a half. This is a lot of meat. Now that's a lot of protein. Yeah, I wish I can be live with y'all. It'll be so much fun. If we can actually be, be, be communicating at the same time together. We're gonna get these fresh off. And we got our feet. We're gonna lay these on to season them up. We're gonna lay them there. Let me rinse this other one off. Y'all, I don't know if you're supposed to pack dry steaks or not. I don't know. I don't never dry my steaks off, but I think I be seeing people pat dry, like pat them with like some um, paper towels or something. These are our steaks. We got some sea salt. We gonna put up some salt on there. Oh, I gotta get the other onion too. We gotta put that onion on there. Okay, I ain't never made a steak without putting some onion on there. So we're going to put up, y'all, these steaks are so thick. Yeah, I should have marinated it in something. Like some, um, some pineapple or something. You know, pineapple, when you marinate the steaks and stuff like that, like citrus stuff that break down protein really good, it, like, makes the steaks so tender when you cook it. They so thick. That's why I put that much salt. I want to make sure there's enough salt on there. This is a lot of meat. We're gonna put some pepper on there. I should, I ain't never put no garlic powder, y'all, so I ain't gonna, I was gonna say, I should put some garlic powder. I don't know what that'll taste like. I'm going too far now, y'all. I'm getting beside myself. Okay, we're gonna put some salt on this side. Salt it up real good. Y'all, it looks like I'm putting a lot, but it's really not a whole lot of salt coming out of this salt grinder. It's like the uh, uh, enough, I guess. It's not too much, though. It's like perfect. And they're so thick. I'm telling y'all, these things are thick. Okay. That's now that's enough. Let's put some pepper on this side. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to put our oil in this pot, y'all. Uh, season is going up my nose again. I mean, up my throat. And my nose. So, we're going to use up some avocado oil to saute our steaks in. Saute or fry, whichever one you want to call it. Oh, I almost forgot the onion, y'all. Let me get another onion. I, I use avocado oil and um, olive oil and grapeseed oil. Like, I use a lot of them oils. So, we are gonna see if we should add the steak pan right now. Or should we let it warm a little bit more? Get a little bit hotter. Oh yeah, cause I got this out on low, y'all. So, y'all wanna see the steaks? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That looks so good, right? I'm gonna make some mashed potatoes with this, y'all. We could've be eating good today. Your girl got this. So, let's see if it's um, hot. I'm going to test it with an onion, y'all. Yeah, it's probably about hot enough. So, what you guys cooking for dinner or lunch? Because this dinner, too. I ain't cooking nothing else today. Yeah, this dinner, y'all. I'm not cooking nothing else today. This is going to be their dinner. I hope they enjoy. They really like macaroni though better than potatoes. But I didn't make uh, macaroni twice this week already. They don't need no more mac and cheese. Yeah, I'm gonna show y'all the steak. Hold on, let me get this onion cut out. Just cut this onion up real quick, y'all. Onion. Let's mess it. I have a pork out. Okay, I got a pork down. Hold on, let me 
to grab my hands off. Okay. Let me get y'all. Y'all know I'm going to come get y'all now. That's it. Get some of these onions apart. Y'all, they are so thick. These, um, the steaks. I made the onions kind of thick too, y'all. So, guys, we're going to put our potatoes in here. In the pot. Potatoes. They ain't gonna really eat none of these. That should be enough. I'm gonna rinse these off, guys. Y'all can come with me. Y'all welcome. Can come with me. Y'all can come with. Rinse these off. Really, really good. I should have put some salt in there. In this water that I'm washing these potatoes in. Wait, we gonna flip these steaks real quick. That's what we gonna do. Okay, that's mellow. Look at that. That's it. They feel tender. They feel good and tender. Y'all wanna see this one? Y'all see it? It's tender. Alright, that's it. Okay, keep on cooking, big boy. Big boy. I think I should have put a lid on it. No. I ain't gonna put no lid on it. They look delicious, y'all. I ain't gonna put no And then what we're gonna do is, let me bring y'all back over here. Back over here with me, y'all. Can y'all see? Nope. How did I have y'all? Okay, yeah. That's it. This pot too heavy to sit up on my pan. Look, y'all. I'm going to just cut them. And then after I cut them like that, just slice them like that. So they won't take too long to get done. So I just cut them. This one real quick. I cut that one quick. It smells so good in here. Mm, mm, mm. It smells. So I wish y'all could smell this. I wish y'all could smell how this house is smelling. Do you smell what Kalita is cooking? This smells good. Oh, that potato running for me, y'all. It's like no. the lid. Y'all, it'd be some beautiful birds outside this window. Every time I'm uh, cooking or cleaning up, it'd be some beautiful birds. Just... So, the steaks are about done. I'm going to get those out of there. And the potatoes are going great. Then I'm going to make the glory um, pan green beans, y'all. So, let me get these out of here, y'all. Stay tuned. Look at the roast, guys. Look how tender it is. Look at that roast. That's for the kids, y'all. Can't get it off the fork now. It want to stay there. Okay, my loves. Everything is finished, so we just going to plate this food and taste it. Y'all, I cut me three little pieces over here. Y'all see the inside of the steak? It's cooked perfect. Yes. So, I got me a piece with some steak sauce on it. Let me taste it. 
Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. So good. It's so good. I don't even want to swallow it. Make it last forever. So good, huh? I did it again. It's a hit. Thank y'all so much for keeping me company. Just happy food, so that's that food that make you happy. Make you want to get to dancing. My phone ringing. Yeah, it's so good though. Happy food. Mmm. That's enough. Mm -mm. Uh oh. I got another one. That's enough, y'all. That's y'all dare me to eat some more. Y'all dare me. Somebody dare me. Let that know. Y'all dare me. Okay. <clears throat> Thank y'all so much for cooking with me today. Like, share, subscribe. Comment below, hit the notification bell, so anytime I post, you'll be the first to know. Bye.